And despite trade tensions, this year has been a good year for the stock market. But will that spill over into the new year? Well, we asked an expert. 2019 has been shaped by three fundamental geopolitical events. Uh, the US-China trade deals. Uh, secondly is the uh, Brexit in Europe. And last but not least, closer to home is actually the whole, uh, Hong Kong social unrest. Mm. Uh, despite these geopolitical events, they are shaping the headlines day to day. Actually, the stock markets for 2019 has nothing been short of spe being spectacular. We have seen you know, more than 20% rise in US, in Japan markets, in Australia, and even in the Chinese markets. Mm. I think the, the other more subdued markets who are all showing positive signs are Hong Kong, Singapore, and a couple of other markets like Europe. Etc. So it has been a good year, and the reason is, uh, as of last December, we actually started off with a low base, where there's a big, you know, uh, adjustments for the markets in 2018. So 2019 has been relatively well, and you see that the markets have actually start pricing in the good news from all these three events. As on Friday the 13th, we actually got some positive developments in UK, as well as positive developments for the trade tensions. I think the governments that have still have ammunitions to shape the economy are actually in a, in a much better state. For instance, you know, if you look at the United States, they actually have more rooms to do monetary easing. Not that they need to do so, but they actually have the ammunition to do that. Uh, if you look at China, they also have a lot of space in terms of fiscal policy, uh, in terms of coming out with policies that are favorable for business, for the uh, overall economy, etc. I'm more worried for countries that are actually running out of ammunition. Mm. Uh, you know, if you look at Eurozone and you look at Japan, they are, their interest rate is actually very low. In, in fact, they are in a negative zone. So there's not much they could do. I mean, obviously, we heard what uh, Prime Ministers of Japan has announced, which is a very favorable policy uh, recently. But what else can you do? You know, uh, and what we are going to see probably in the year 2020 mm. is a period of low economic growth. I'm cautiously optimistic. We are not going to have a recession, but every country is just going to prod along with you know, low economic growth. And that's why I say investors have to be more cautious.